Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Um, if you're tuning in new, um, I am a textile artist. I create um, hand spun yarns and make absolutely beautiful to die for soft fat from beautifully soft fibers such as merinos, silks, cashmere, angora bunny and camel and so much more. I also hand paint fiber and yarns and I also weave. So in tonight's video I will be doing a carding video for Lynn. Um, she sponsored this video and it will be going to Paris. So that's pretty exciting. It is my first order to Paris, which is awesome. So thank you very much. But I tried to film this last week, um, making this lot. But I could not render the video, so I apologise. I was going to try to get it out on Mon on Friday. But for the life of me, I could not get it to render. And it just, even though I went back to the start, like the original files, and I still couldn't get it done. So I have decided to film this again. Um, we are going to be adding more purple for Lynn because she would like some more purple in this next batch. Um, she struggles to find really soft fiber where she is. So I've gone with a merino and silk blend and this has so much silk. It is absolutely crazy. Um, so these are mini bats, they are so squishy and soft. Um, I was thinking that I may keep the next one in a full bat for you, um, just in case you would like to do something else with it other than spinning. Um, cause you can felt with, um, uh, full bats as well. Um, so that will be an option for you. Um, but for spinning, I prefer to strip them up into little tiny mini, mini bats cause it just is easier to handle. Um, but I will show you how to make them and then if you decide when you get the full bat you can make them into mini bats if you would prefer that. Um, it's just a lot easier than have trying to spin a full bat. So I am basically only using um, merino and silk with some viscose and also angora bunny. So in the first batch I put the angora bunny on top of the drum which um, didn't quite, it didn't blend it in and you got like puffs of um, bunny fur. So I think this time I will be putting it through the bottom of the drum so it blends in a little bit easier and better. So bunny fur is quite um, quite soft and it is a very like short fiber. It's extremely hard to spin um, if you're a new spinner on its own 
and it's quite expensive too if you were to buy 100 grams of this or 50 grams um, but it is so pretty and it's so soft it's like a cloud in your fingers um, we'll probably use all of that today uh, I only used about half of less than half of it last time and then I will be adding more of the purple silk than the blue like last time I'm going to take that this one off out and I'm going to replace it with just that's actually um, a like a dark magenta purple it's not pink Whew. so much silk flying around this room already <laughs> it just gets everywhere and then I'm going to add a little bit more of the viscose than I did last time this is a nylon um, man made fibre but it adds a little bit of shine and it does spin up really nice. I did use quite a lot of this one in it on the last batch, but when you actually start separating it and cutting it into a bat, it actually starts to get a bit muddy. Unfortunately, you start to lose all those colours. So, just to stick with the same, so it sort of looks like the same thing as the other ones, because I want them to match, I'm going to use it anyway, but I'm going to um, blend it through with the white, white merino silk. Um, through the bottom and I'm going to also add more of this one so basically she would like a bat that looks like um, bright beautiful purple flowers um, poking through the snow so what I'm doing is I am opening it up opening it up like so and then I will split it in half so I don't um, get too much on the drum at in one go where it struggles <laughs> So I want a pretty thick um, white base so it's easier for you to spin. Especially I don't know what level of spinning you are, if you're new or if you're advanced. This is just going to run through your fingers like a cloud. So just keep that in mind. It might um, pull very fast and you may lose it 
However, if you've got the um, right tension, you'll be fine. I'm going to add this one. I'm going to just gradually, every second layer is going to be this until the fibre gets closer to the top of the teeth. And then I will start adding colour pop. See how it's beautiful here and beautiful here. You can see all the colours. But as soon as it goes on to here, it's going to get really bland. This is only to add a little sparkle and a little tiny bit of, you know, the like, the colour of the bush underneath the snow. And then I'm going to add the flowers on top.
So what I'm doing is I am finding colours that I like and I'm stripping them out because I want a little bit more green and sparkle. Because this, this bat is quite full now. I'm just finishing it up. And that's all I'm going to fit on there. It is quite full and it's quite beautiful. I will take a better photo once I'm finished and they're all made into bats. Um, with the true colour. This is my brush. I like this one. It is just a dog brush. It's um it's called yours drooly. Drooly as in drooling. And you push the button and all the fiber will come off easy without you ripping up your hands from the metal. Um and it's just easy and clean to take the fiber off the drum like so this comes off so easy and gets the whole lot off Now this turned out quite beautiful, a lot more colour than the, than the first batch, so I hope you really like this now um, with extra pop Lynn. Um I added more purple like you asked, and yeah, I think it looks beautiful. Now I'm going to keep this in the big bat so you have more options um to play with to make this into a bat this is this fiber at the moment you turn it over you fold in the sides the ends like so like so And then you roll it. And then you've got a bat. See? And then I'll tie a ribbon around that so it keeps together for you. And then you can do as you please with it. Now, because it's coming a long way from Australia to Paris, when you receive it, the fibre may be a little bit condensed in the bag, um, squashed up. So just open the bag and let it air out. Um, and then you can sort of fluff it up. So, um, but yeah, there is... Your beautiful custom order and thank you so very much for sponsoring this video 
Um, it's been a pleasure. And I hope you enjoy. I will be sending you your prize from 1000 Subs giveaway. And I will also be sending you a special extra. So give it about uh, maybe two to six weeks to arrive. And please send photos of your haul when you receive it. And also, I'd love to see what you make with it. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching and being a part of this journey. And I hope to have more, tu more tutorials soon and also more videos of just creations. Um... So if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the notification bell if you would like to know when I put out the next video. And share it if you would like. Um, and yeah, all the other works. Send me a comment. Give it a thumbs up. Um, and I'll see you in... See you on the next one. Bye for now.